Hey, welcome to this video. Here you see a best padlock that was sent to me by Joshua. So Joshua, thank you very much for that lock. I really appreciate the opportunity to play with that lock. Because this lock is very interesting. Um, you have two different keys. One is the um, operating key. It's, it's that one. can simply be used to, uh, to open the lock as normal. And there is another key, it's the uh, control key. It is uh, used for removing the core. And um, when you pick that lock, um, you need to either pick it to the control or to the operating shear line, because you cannot mix the shear lines, else uh, nothing would happen. So, and when I tried to pick it, I usually um, or I, I, I could manage to open it uh, multiple times to the control shear line uh, and once to the operating shear line. But currently I cannot open it anymore uh, with picking. But I can open it with raking and that's what I wanted to show you. So, here's a rake and go in and out and in and out. And I tried to set the remaining pins with a rocking techniques te technique, and here we are. It's already open, and we can remove the core. So let's have a closer look to it. It's currently um, open to the control shear line. So this little thing here is um, is out of the way. It's it's flat here at that at that uh, position at that uh, place, and uh, you can remove the core. But when it is uh, locked, when it's locked up, you see um, it's coming out here and it's uh, preventing uh, the core from uh, coming out of the housing. So let's have a look at the, at the different uh, shear lines. This is the control key and you can see the upper shear line is the control shear line. And when you insert the operating key, you see that the lower shear line is the operating shear line. So you have to, to pick it either to, to that shear line here or to, to this shear line. If you, if you mix it, some pins will still block the, the other shear line and, and nothing will happen. Okay, finally, let's have a look at the, at the bidding on the key. That's the control key, and uh, here we have the uh, operating key. Uh, maybe like that. You can see the difference in the bidding, and uh, if you want to, to pick it to one shear line, you have to uh, keep in mind uh, the depth um, of, the, of the pins. So it might be that you um, need to set a pin deeper than actually it, it would bind the first time. So you see for example here it's um, or here um, last pin uh, on the control key um, it's a high pin and here it's a, it's a low pin. So if you want to pick it to the um, to the to the control shear line uh, you don't need to set it much, but uh, you have to set it a little bit deeper if you want to pick it to the to the operating uh, shear line. So this is quite a challenge, I think, um, and I would love to see a video of someone who can pick this lock to to both shear lines in one video. So this this would be really great to see, and also to to hear about tics, tips and tricks on how to do that. Okay, but for me currently, um, I cannot pick it anymore, neither to the control nor to the operating shillen, but I can rake my way into that lock. Alright, so much for the uh, best padlock, um, raked open. Thank you very much for watching. Again, Joshua, thank you very much for sending this lock to me. Uh, and we are, so, of course, uh, happy picking. Bye-bye.